Hi everyone, it's Dasha Dave here again, back for another crafty video. So, today we're going to make this. So this was inspired by this. So, um, my video earlier this week of me making this, where this is a, a mechanism for locking and on my journal. Um, so... I, it was I was inspired by that so I thought what else can I do with that kind of thing and I made this so this is very similar this is a one sheet wonder so you slide it up and it opens and inside you've got a little tuck spot here you've got a pocket here you've got a tuck spot here. sorry that's a kind of page band here um, you've got a tuck spot here and you've got a pocket here and you've got the little flap and it's all made from one sheet of um, paper this is what you can all of the stuff you can see here is made from one sheet and i will show you how to make it it's a little bit different a little bit more complicated but i can tell you now you can do it you can make it you, i promise you so let me just set up and i'll come back to you so all you're going to need is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper okay and you're going to make a couple of very simple cuts what you want to do is you want to have it so that you have it with the um, orientation of top at the at the top and bottom at the bottom, um, and then this is left and right. Okay, so first of all, you want to cut it down to eight. So eight on this uh, in this orientation. So it's going to be eight wide and ten high. So you're going to first cut is at eight. So we'll go to the eight mark and we'll cut it at eight. Ah. And we're going to keep this because remember it's a one sheet wonder so we're going to be making lots of things with all the bits that we cut off then we're going to turn it around so the top or the bottom bit you're going to cut off whichever piece you know depending on your paper which piece are you willing to sacrifice and are not willing to sacrifice so in my case i want to cut the bottom off because i want to keep the other bit sorry so turn it around that way and this is going to be 10 high so it's going to be 10 so keep that piece as well so we've got this piece which now measures 8 by 10 okay and you're going to get a scoreboard or whatever it is you have to hand that will you know if you just want to fold it in half then do so because all we're going to do is we're going to score it at four so remember this is eight wide we're going to score it at four which is halfway and that's that piece And we're going to fold that over. Okay, so we've got our sheet folded over. I'm just going to put that score line in. Okay, so that's that piece. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to take this piece, this other longer piece, the, the one that measures 12 by 4, and you want to cut this down to, to measure a quarter of an inch short of 10 high. So we're going to go to 10, so it could be a quarter of an inch, so it makes it nine and three quarters. So you're going to cut that to nine and three quarters high, and you're going to keep that, okay? And then you're going to turn it round and cut this down to being three and three quarters wide. Okay, so you just decide the bit that you're willing to lose and the bit that you're not willing to lose. I think I'll use, use this bit. It's the less interesting side. So, there we go. <clears throat> so this piece is going to be the piece that sits on the inside here, okay? It does two jobs. It gives you a pocket at the bottom, and it, it hides the mechanism at the top, okay? So first of all, what we want to do is we want to round our um, corners and ink our edges if that's what we want to do. So bear with me. I will so I have rounded my corners, and I have inked it down. So... Now what you want to do is, I what I did was I cut out a little window at the bottom of here, just so that people can see that there is a pocket, because, let's just open this back up again, let's just show you, because this top bit is glued down because of the slider, so I didn't want people to think there was nothing here, so I put a window here so that I could put something in my pocket and people would know there was a window there, oh, sorry, there was a pocket there, so... That's exactly what I'm going to do with this one. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to cut out exactly the same pocket 
I do have that die to hand. I'm going to pop that on there and we're going to just cut that bit out. So what you want to make sure is it is below the, um, sorry, it's below the center line. So if you imagine there's a center line, the, the um, horizon line, you if that's the center about here, you want to make sure it's just below that. So it doesn't get in the way of anything that you've got above. So we're just going to put some tape on there and get that stuck. Trying to use the the wording as a, my eye line for where I want my my die to be. Okay, so I'm just going to get my die cutter and we will get that done. So. Like I say, this is nice and simple. It like it really is simple. It just takes a little bit of thought to process first. So I can I can guarantee to you you can do this. You just have to think about it. I don't mean the die cutting. I definitely can do the die cutting. Anybody can do that bit. As long as you've got a die cutter. So let's put these down here. I really need to get a new chair. My chair is very squeaky these days. So there we go. So all I'm going to do now is just ink around this edge because well it would be rude not to wouldn't it. So um, I'm just going to get rid of that white edge. And then what I did was I just took some of my um, homemade vellum stuff um, and found something that I wanted to use so maybe that's going to be the thing that I use so yeah sorry my voice is all over the place it's like I can't guarantee to you I'll, I'll have a voice and then I, when I do have a voice it's either squeaky or it's gravelly or who knows what's going to happen so this is going to go on here Okay, and we're going to pop this as a window behind. So, um, just going to kind of get it the right size, and then just tear it down. I think. Move that out of the way. Put that there. Put that there. I'm just going to tear it off. Yep, and then I'm just going to have a quick check. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit shorter than that, so I'll cut that bit off at the top. And cut that bit straight at the bottom. There we go. So, I'm going to have it this way around. So, we'll pop this in on the inside. And we're just going to stick that down. So, this is the only piece that is not part of the, the 12 by 12 sheet, but you don't have to do this stage. So it's not compulsory that you make a hole. It's just, I wanted to. So I flip it over, there we go. So I have done it so that the black isn't quite as, so I've done it the other way around so it's, the black isn't quite as punchy on this side. That looks a bit more ancient, old, whatever. So. Don't glue this in yet because you ne you'll need free access to this bit um, in a minute. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over and now this piece that we cut off, remember we cut this piece, all I've done is I've rounded and that was the piece that we cut off the top of here. I've All I've done is I've rounded it. So I've left it like this and now what you want to do is you want to take a scoreboard again or however you choose to make your your score lines and we're going to take it and we're just going to butt it right up at the edge okay so I've, I've rounded only two bits because the other bit is just going to be a glued tab and then we are going to score that at half an inch just down there okay take that off and that's basically your score lines are done put that somewhere where it's not going to fall over no guarantees that won't happen so I'm just going to fold that over now 
and I'm going to just scroll that down. So this is going to be your tab for your closure. So what you want to do is you just want to glue that into place. So best thing to do is glue it, is hold it closed first before you glue it. Flip it over. There you're going to have the see the back. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bit of glue down this tab. All the way down here. Just staying clear of the fold. But making sure it's nicely covered in glue. Okay. And then with it closed, just glue this down. So that it sits at the top portion of your... So it's it, it's never in the same place twice, um, but it's it needs to be within um, two and a half three inches of the, of the top. You don't want to go too close from to the top. And the reason why I say keep have it closed when you wrap this round is because you'll notice it it's just a little bit free of the where the where the fold is. That's because you wanted to make sure it goes round everything that way. Okay, I've glued it the wrong way. Oh, never mind. Okay, my whole thing is now upside down, but we can live with that, can't we? So we're going to live with that anyway, because I wasn't paying attention. So that's that bit. Now what you want to do is you want to t fold that over and close it. And now you, what you need to do is you just need to look and think. So I want to make a, a slider, okay? And the way I'm going to make my slider is very simple. So in my last video, when I used, um, I made a slider, I made it with a metal um, a bit like a split pin but we're not going to do that this time we're going to make it extra simple you see this piece of um, of paper that you cut off and you thought oh well that's obviously going to be used for rubbish well we're going to use some of that so all you're going to need to do is you need to cut about three and a half four cent four inches off okay and then you're going to take a piece and you're going to put your thumb in the middle of that and you're going to fold up either side of your thumb. Now, there's no there's no correct measurements for this. So even if your thumb's bigger than mine or smaller than mine, it's not a huge thing. You just want to make sure that it's it's kind of about what's that? Your about half an inch, a little bit over half an inch. So you've got this kind of shape that looks like a big staple now. Yeah. And then what you want to do is you want to take one of the legs and you want to fold it over and just fold it to the middle and then you're going to fold it back on itself. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle. Again, there is, you don't have to be accurate about this one. Okay, and then you're going to take the other side and you're going to do the same again. You fold it, but the, what you want is kind of them, them touching in the middle, even if it's they're not perfect. See, look, they're not perfect. They're not both equal, but that's all we want. We want to touch in the middle, okay? Then you're going to cut. So you, you see how you've got where if you fold, keep it folded like that. That's the bit that's folded back round from the side. All I'm going to do is going to cut about a quarter of an inch away from where it fo it comes round, and on this side as well. Okay, so you've got this little shape, like a bit of a like a lightning rod. So that's the shape. So let me just show you what I mean by that. Hopefully you can see. Let's just make sure. So can we see? I don't know where the singing is. Oh yeah, there you go. So you got this shape. That's what you want. Okay. So <clears throat> now what you're gonna that's you're gonna keep that to one side okay and then you know you don't need that bit now so let's move these out of the way so that's going to be our mechanism for move it sliding up and down with what we now want to do is we want to see where this comes to so when, when this is folded over you need to put your ruler up to it but you want to be about a sixteenth of an inch away from that fold yeah, so where that sorry that edge, you want to be about a sixteenth of an inch away from there. You can let go of it now, and now what you want to do is you want to put a pencil line in. And bearing in mind I've had pencils in the last thing. Oh, yeah, I've got got one now. It's fine. 
And then what you want to do is you want to have um, the top where your line's going to start, so your slot is going to start about an inch away from the very top of where this panel folds around to. Okay, so you want to be about an inch, can be a little bit more. You don't want it too close to the edge though. So I would stay at least half a, an inch away from the top of, of it. Sorry, a, a little, uh, sorry, about half an inch away from the top of the, the folio. And then you're going to come down and you come down to about halfway down your, your piece of, cut this piece that folds around, your little flap that folds around. So your closure. So you're going to come down and luckily I've got a line that's there that kind of looks like a halfway mark. It might not be, but it's fine. It's just going to come down to there. So we're looking at this now. See how this one kind of just sits here. It doesn't sit all the way down. It's not exactly halfway, but you, what you want is you don't want it to just be there because it'll just flip back out again. Okay, so what you want it, it to do is to be, to come almost half the way down or half, or half at least. Okay, so we're doing that. Take that off. And now you have to unfold it, otherwise you don't you'll end up putting a hole through that side as well. There are two ways, well there's more ways to, to skin a cat, isn't there? So um but there are a couple of ways you can do this. Now you can either use your crocodile if you can get it to reach that far in. So depending on how far away you are from the edge, and if you're making it the way that I'm making it, you'll be the same distance away as I am. So you can either use that okay if you can or you can use your big bite like this and you're just gonna make a hole at the bottom of this line now remember this line is a sixteenth of an inch away from where the where the flap folds round so anything you make any holes you make you want it to be on the other side of that line but as close up to that line as you can I'm gonna make mine with my anywhere punch because I like using this and what I'm going to do is so I'm going to turn it this way so hopefully you can see better you see where my line ends here I'm just going to put this on the edge of that of that line now it's really it's going to be hard for me to show you with I can't show you and actually do it without making a hole in my finger as well so I'm just going to catch it so that my anywhere punch sits on that line right at the very base and then I'm going to push it and, and make a hole there. And remember anything any holes you make needs to be this side. Let me close it up for you again. So this is where it comes up to. So anything you any holes you make needs to be to the left hand side of that line when you open it out like this to the left hand side if that makes any sense whatsoever. So like I say a little bit of a different one sheet wonder today because it's a little bit more involved but I'm promising you can do it promising you you can do it so you've made that hole at the bottom there and then you want to make another hole at the top again on that line staying to the left hand side of it there we go so now what we need to do is we just need to join those two lines and we're going to join those with a scalpel and a ruler. So butting it up to that line, taking note of where the holes are and then joining the two holes together. Just like when we make a, um, a hole for like a, a slot pocket. Again, we're going to make sure that we get both of those holes, taking note where the hole is so that you don't go too far. And you'll join that together. So there you go, you've got your slot. Okay, so that's the complicated bit out of the way. Okay, now what you need to do is, if you want to ink that, you can ink it, of course. So let's just do that. Just so you can, you don't have any white card showing. You don't have to do that bit. And now what you're going to do is, you're going to feed this into that slot. So the flat bit and the so the flat bit is at the top and the two legs are going down the bottom. So you're going to pinch those together and they're going to go through that there. And then you flip it over and you're going to flatten those out at the back. Okay. Then what you're going to do 
is you're going to take some of your waste card. So this is the piece of card that we've cut off. Yeah. So this is some of the waste. So we're going to also need to keep this. This is the other bit of waste that we cut out of the, the pocket. Okay. So you're going to take a piece of this and like you take a piece that you think looks most decorative. Okay. And you're going to try and get it right up to the edge so that you don't waste anything. There we go. Cut that bit out. And then we're going to cut another piece. And then we're going to just flip it around and just do the last piece. So I'm just getting them as close as I can together so that I'm not wasting anything. Okay, so you're cutting three circles out. The reason for that is you want two of them to be glued together, choose your most pretty one on, on the top, and one of them is going to be at the back. So we'll glue the two together so that they can be firming up while we get on with the other bit. those two together pinch it and make sure that they glue and then we're just going to ink that edge like that just completely glue when we get on with the other bit okay so and then this piece you don't need to sorry i was going to ink it but you don't need to ink it because it's going to be on the inside and you're not going to see it right so what you want to do is you want to Splay those those out. Again, this doesn't need inking because you're not going to see it. You're going to put a bit of glue on either side. But not so much that it completely squashes out over all of the, the, the other. Um, so when you push this down, it doesn't squeeze out over to the, the, out the surrounding area. Otherwise, you'll end up with like not this won't be moving freely. And we're just going to pop this down and glue it. So don't press too far down because you want a bit of give on that slider because you want it to be able to sit round the top of here and it won't and if it's too pinched together it'll be too tight to be able to slide. So don't pinch it down too much. Don't worry about any bits that are sticking out either side. That's absolutely fine. Leave it like that. Nobody's going to see it. So now we're going to flip it back over this way and then what we're going to do is we're going to glue on our front disc so on the front flat panel here let's put some glue okay i'm just going to spread that out a bit with something preferably not my finger like that. and we're going to choose which way around we want our slider thing i'm going to pop it like on like that i'm just going to try and get it somewhere in the middle Like that, just press it down. But again, don't try and pinch it so it's perfectly pinched and tight. You want to leave it so that you've got it's got a lot of wiggle to it. Yeah. So it'll freely slide up and down by itself. There you go. So that means you've got enough wiggle room on that. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to check that that works, and you're going to fold that over, push that all the way up to the top. Fold over your flap and bring that down, and that should lock that into place. It does. Cool. So now what you want to do, open this up, and we're going to take the pocket that we made. Okay. And when we glue this down, you don't want to completely glue this back bit. Okay. What you want to do is you're going to put, so you're not going to put anything at the very top of this bit here. You want to put about half an inch of glue down the side, this side. And half an inch of glue down this side and leave this bit free of glue so this slides nicely okay and if you hold it up backwards to it you can see that we want to have a, a bit of glue about half a cent sorry half an inch across the top of where this pocket bit is that we we cut out so i'm going to put here i'm going to put about half an inch of glue and then we're going to do half an inch of glue up the side. I'm going to do half an inch of glue up this side. And that makes sure that it sticks down nicely, but it's not going to get in the way of your mechanism and it's not going to make it too tight to slide up and down. 
So then when you put this down, you just want to make sure that you don't accidentally dab the glue anywhere near the mechanism. Pop this down. And glue that into place. So, the only thing I haven't done, which I've just realised I haven't done, is I haven't put any glue around this bit. And all I want to do is I want to put glue down this edge and this edge on the other side. And that will just make sure that I have a pocket. So, sorry about that. Completely forgot to do that bit. So pop that down and now you've got a pocket here. You just want to make sure that this sits away from that fold so it doesn't get in the way. Pull it down, glue those bits down. Cool, so now you've got a pocket here. Remember this bit doesn't do anything, okay? Because this is all this is doing is hiding your mechanism here. Okay, that's gonna fold down and do, be like that. So now what you do is the piece that we cut out of the window if you have it if you haven't got it because you've left it solid that's fine you don't need to put put it in okay we're going to just turn on its side we're going to ink it because we well we me like to ink things we're going to take a thumb notch out of it And then we're going to glue on three sides opposite the the thumb notch. Okay, I'm going to pop that on the bottom there, and that's going to be our pocket there. And if you didn't cut it out of here, then don't worry about it. Just have another piece of use another piece of card. And what we're going to do is we're going to just cut these circles off. Like that okay and then we're gonna have this at the top part of here so what I did was I just took I took about an inch and a half off the top so that's about about there I think snipped all the corners to make it rounded because I've done it on everything else so I might as well do it on this all the way around that because well it's me you don't have to okay and then choose which side you want to have and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue so like we're going to put like I don't know, I don't know an, an eighth of an inch of glue on either side pop that down that's going to be your little tuck space. Just glue that down in the middle there. Take this piece. Oh, that's the wrong one. Just round those corners off. And then ink all the way around there. We're just going to glue. Ooh, I actually quite like that pink. That's that side. Oh, do I like that side? No, I'm going to go for this side. So, I'm gonna glue on this bit. I'm just gonna, gluing about half a an inch. No, not half an inch. Maybe quarter of an inch, really. And that's just going to be our little tuck at the top there. So we're just going to stick that down like that. That's our tuck, and then all you've got left is these pieces. You know, if you can find something to do with them, do do them. But if not, that's what you've made. So you're going to close it over like this, hold it round, and slide that down, and it stays nice and closed. So there you go. So that's the one I made previously. Um, well, this is my prototype. Um, this is a, another prototype. <laughs> so I've been kind of making these. Um, this one I didn't make out of one sheet, so I wanted to make it a one sheet wonder, and then this is my prototype for the one sheet wonder. So there we go. It's all there. 
you can do it promise you can um i have faith in you so i hope you enjoyed that so that's another one sheet wonder from me um i'm glad you're enjoying the one sheet wonders because you know it's it's good for me it's good as a challenge for me for me to come up with new and interesting ways to do things so thank you very much for inspiring me to to do it i did ask put a post out and asked if anybody wanted more one sheet wonders and the resounding answer was yes so thank you and the way that you can thank me is to give me a thumbs up and um that's the way that, that's the way to tell me that you're enjoying what i'm doing um and i will see you in the next video so my name is dash of dave thanks very much for watching don't forget to give this a thumbs up don't forget to um subscribe if you're not already um and don't forget to share it comment do as you wish and i will see you in the next video and as i always say i love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to so don't give me a reason not to and i'll see you in the next video take care folks lots of love lots of hugs and i'll see you soon take care bye bye